Hello and welcome to this video presentation on factors and multiples. Starting with factors, what are they? Factors of a number are simply other numbers that go into that number. Here's an example for you. If we look at the number 24, the factors of 24 are the numbers that would have 24 in their times table. So we can get to 24 by 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. These are the factors of 24. If you know you're a bit shaky on times, times tables, then now would be a good time to uh, brush up on those because you really need to be on top of times tables to answer factors and multiples questions easily. And when you get a question like this, make sure you always include one and the number itself. Okay, moving on. Um, there are four for you to have a go at, 20, 36, 45, and 56. Um, if your teacher pauses the video, give you a chance to answer these, and then when the video starts up again, you can compare your answers to mine. Okay. Let's have a look at the first one. Here are the factors of 20. Yeah. These are the numbers that have 20 in their times table. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. And I think the easiest way to find them is to think of them in pairs. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. 36 has quite a lot of factors. I'm not going to read them all out to you. You can see them on screen. I'll move down to questions 3 and 4. Here are your factors of 45, 1 times 45, 3 times 15, 5 times 9. Oh, point I should have made with 36, even though 36 is 6 times 6, you only show the 6 once. Oh, and the final one, factors of 56, 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. 14, 28, and 56. Okay, moving on. In GCSE maths questions, you quite often get asked to find the highest common factor of two numbers. That is the biggest number that's a factor of both the numbers you're given. I'll give you an example here with 24 and 40. I start out by listing out the factors of the first number. So these are all the numbers that have 24 in their times table. I then do the same thing for the second number. These are all the numbers that have 40 in their times table. And then I look through both lists of factors to see which numbers are in both lists. So that would be 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the highest common factor is the biggest number that's in both lists, 8. So here are a couple for you to have a go at. If the teacher pauses the video, you can have a go at them and then compare your answers with mine. Now, 
Same method as before. I have listed the factors of 8. I've then listed the factors of 12. And 1, 2 and 4 are in both lists. And 4 is the largest. So the answer is 4. With the second one, factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Again, 3 is the largest. It's in both lists. So the answer is 3. OK, if I move on now to multiples. Multiples are the times table of a number. For example, multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and so on. Common GCSE question asks you to find the lowest common multiple of two numbers. So here's an example for you. 6 and 10. I've started here writing out 6 times table. And here I'm writing out 10 times table. Look through both lists and the first number that is in both lists is your answer. So 30 is in the 6 times table and it's also in the 10 times table. So there's your answer. Here are a couple for you to have a go at. If your teacher pauses the video you can have a go at these, and then when it starts up again, compare your answers with mine. Okay. See, I've written out five times table on the first line, six times table on the second line, and as I look through both lists, the first number in both lists is 30 highlighted it in bold red text for you. If I look at the second one, there's four times table. Underneath it, I've listed ten times table. So, twenty is in both the four times table and the ten times table. And it's the lowest common multiple of four and ten. It's worth mentioning at this point that multiplying the two numbers together will always give you a common multiple, but it might not be the lowest common multiple. Yeah? 4 times 10 gives you 40, which is also in both lists. It's just not the first number that's in both lists. And when you're asked for the lowest common multiple, you need the first number that's in both lists if you're going to get yourself all the marks. That's it for this video presentation. I hope it's been of some use to you. Thank you.